Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Dungeon and Dragons, The Temple of Elemental Evil. Oh, yes. It's time for Kikoskia to go back to his gaming roots and let's play a Dungeons and Dragons game. While this one is not made by, um, good old TSR, this one is still very true to the rules. That being said, well, with some slight tweaks, but the combat rules are flawless. Based around the rule set of version 3.5, which I think is probably one of the best ones of recent times. But version 4 can go to heck. You've seen the introduction. You've seen that this is indeed the Temple of Elemental Evil. A, well, shall we say, modern version of the, um, modern game version of the classic Dungeons and Dragons campaign module, the Temple of Elemental Evil. I'm sure you want to get right into the game, but this game is a long one to get into, so let's start with a tutorial. On your way to Verbo Verbobank, you stumble across an uncharted cave. Yeah, there's not much introduction in this bit. You come through the entrance of the cave, and the floor quickly turns from dirt to slate. The walls transform from natural rock to layered brick and stone. The air grows heavier with every step you take. There is no question that evil lurks here. Ah, my evil radar! You can create up to five adventurers in your party. In this tutorial, you only have one. For now. When a character is selected, you will see a blue selection ring around him and his portrait beneath. Select your party, press 1 to 5, left click and drag, or left click on a character. Left click to move anywhere. This is Valkor. Valkor is a second level, true neutral male human fighter who worships nobody. Is this Greyhawk? This is Forgotten Realms, you being some serious doodah but not worshipping anyone. He has 19 hit points and an armor class of 16. Armor class in this version of Dungeons & Dragons starts at 10 for your basic bare naked man and moves upwards. He has impressive strength and not bad constitution. And as you can see, his feats are... Well... Where are his feats? Doesn't seem to have any. Yeah, it tells you about all the feats there. You'll notice his skills are a bit unusual. He does have quite a few ranks in open lock, but not much else. Anyway, this adventurer has managed to walk into a place without any weapons or armor, so he's a complete total idiot. Let's go this way, shall we? God, the frame rate's struggling here. Ah, well, we'll be alright. It's Dungeons and Dragons, after all. You enter the room and notice a chest against the wall. You are surprised to see this chest is in such good repair. You also notice a sturdy door to the northeast, also appearing in much better condition than the walls surrounding it. Let's go open this chest by left clicking. Okay. It. We're out of initiative at this moment, so no problems there. Ah, the chest is locked. We'll need to unlock it. Now watch this. Press right click on yourself, and you can select all your skills, your inventory, your attacks. Talking. We want to open lock At because one. we have that skill. At once. Let's try opening it. We can't fail in the tutorial. Trust me. Yeah, we succeeded. Yes, sir. Surprisingly enough, what is in this chest? A sword and a shield. And you know what? We really need them. It's just a long sword and. A wooden orcish shield, basically a heavy steel shield. It's not bad. Now, we're going to this door here. Okay. And down this corridor. Very D&D-esque in some respects, this game. Just as you round the corner, you see a giant rat in the next room. Oh no! Not a rat! Seriously, a giant rat. The creature seems thin and malnourished, even from this distance. Even though he may not be at full strength, his size and hunger might make him a serious threat. No, I'm a second level fighter. A giant rat is not a threat. 
Now, what happens is, I can explain all of this. Initiative has happened. Basically, the game rolls a d20 and adds your initiative modifier, and whoever gets highest goes first. The rat obviously went first, and he gets to, well, move, because you can't move that far. This here shows our different actions. That's a full action, and the standard action is half of that, and the move action is just the other half. You can only make one move and one standard action a turn. What we want to do is you want to attack this rat. This can be done by left clicking the rat. You wish. We missed. And he missed us. He only gets one attack as well. There are many other things we could do. We could heal, we could sneak, we could ready versus a spell, total defense. But all we can do at the moment is a single attack. We can also try trip it. Let's do that. We succeeded. Of course. We didn't really do that much because he hit us. And we don't have improved trip, which means we could attack if we succeeded. So we get the opportunity as it stands up, and we missed anyway because Valcor is a moron. It's attacking as you wish. And it's dead. You have killed a rat. Hoorah. The rat has something as on you him. wish. He has a gold key. We will take all. This will flash until we um, click this and say we have a key. This key, not surprisingly, will open As you the wish. door. Moving down here, you notice a well of some sort in the center of the room. Leaning against the interior wall of the well, you can make out the tip of a ladder. Let's climb this ladder, shall of we? Of course. Of course. Blah, blah. I don't like this character. You've discovered another adventure in the dungeon. Is it a duck? No. Gazebo? No, no. This particular one wants to talk to you immediately, so a dialogue interface will come up right away. Normally, you would have to select a party member, then left click on the creature. Blah, blah, blah. Fine, we will just click it. A tattered young woman reaches for her dagger and points it at you. I warn you, I'm not finished yet! I want to meet him a snarky goit. You appear finished to me. I would say you need assistance, not additional concentration. Confrontation. Oh, we could just kill her if we like, but, um. We'll, we'll talk to her. I have no reason to give. You have no given me no reason to take arms. Sheaf your dagger, and perhaps you can avoid this. She lowers her dagger. Your, your words seem kind. If you are truly. If you truly mean well, then perhaps you will assist me. How did you find your way into such a place? I discovered an opening set within the cave. Cliff face. This simple cake it turned to be much more than I was prepared for. My curiosity led me here as well. All was well until I encountered that giant vermin. Yes, I thought it would not be a challenge, but this hunger must have given him strength. My abilities don't lend themselves to close quarter fighting. I escaped through the door and was unlocked it behind me, but I was wounded during our brief encounter. It is too dangerous here to explore alone. We should fight together and discover what f secrets this place holds. Agreed? Agreed, she sheaths her dagger. If you could allow me some time, I can recover my spells. So you are a spellcaster? Yes, if properly rested, my spells will serve as well. Excellent. Memorizing spells. You click on... Uh, well... Her. She is third level and an NPC. We don't get to see her alignment or who she worships. She only has one spell. Magic Missile. It's a bit sucky, really, because um, she really should have more than that. That's it. That's all we can prepare. So what we do is we uh, then press rest and rest eight hours. He will have gained his one hit point, and we will be all right. Now, moving on. We will save here, folks. Can we actually save in the tutorial? We actually can't save. Ooh, we can save in the tutorial. This is handy, because I want to see how this video turned out. So until then, folks. Until then.